and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to put text inside of an arrow. You can see this effect in many diagrams and it's easy to do. Let us create a line first with the Bezier tool, hold control, left click two times. You can size it down with the cursor tool like this, just hold control when you do. Then go to object, fill in stroke, add an arrowhead on the markers right here. Increase the width, 2 millimeters should be fine for my size. And you can also size it up and down using the notes tool. Once again, hold control when you do. I'm fine with this one. It's selected and I press control D. Easiest method is to just use a rectangle, make it wide, and then put text on top. When you resize the text, hold control as well. And you can see it snaps to the center because I've got the snapping enabled and this icon is active. So the snapping for the rotation center of an object. You can see that when I drag a guide to the center, it's in center thanks to the snapping. That method works when we've got a white background in our diagram, but you can see if we don't, it looks like this and that's certainly not what we want. So if you don't have a white background, just select your arrow, then path, stroke the path, afterwards shift control G to ungroup it. So the marker and the line are now two different elements. Once again, drag a rectangle on top, I'll make it red, then I'll shift, click on the line, so this selected. I go to path and difference. And now again, create some text. Snapping is still enabled. And when you size it up and down, hold control. Put it in center. You can see it, it's still in center. Then select a control G. Let me use this background. And you can now see it works on non-white backgrounds as well. If you want to change the text inside, ungroup it, so shift Control G, press D for the type tool, and then just click on this text element, change it, and resize it holding Control once more. And this is how you can put text inside of an arrow in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.